To help show kids there is a bright future out there, one local group is hoping to team up with area organizations to help the youth stay away from the temptations of drugs and move on the path to success. Our Carrie Corrado joins us live now to tell us more. Carrie, good morning. Good morning, Bill. There's no secret there are drugs and alcohol in our communities. In fact, it's everywhere and easily at the hands of our youth. One group wants to show students there is hope. Bottom line is they're reaching out to the youth to lead them in the right direction and offer help and resources in the area to get them on the right track. And trying to get people involved to try and change the climate of our community. One Cambria County organization has their eyes set on one mission, offering a helping hand, giving a bright outlook for the young ones in our area. To look for avenues to be present in the community to get to know folks and get particularly our youth to know that we're here. Our focus is going to be on the kids. We need to look at the whole community. We need to look at the families and schools and give everybody the resources that they need to help the kids. The Health and Welfare Council has a new Cambry County Prevention Coalition. It's working with Penn State to go through a process called Communities and That Care. Really we pulled a lot of community leaders together, family. business people and schools, superintendents and such, to talk about the issues that they're facing and to see how we can pull people together as a group and try and help them address some of these issues. This is a community-wide effort. This isn't one congregation or one entity or one program. A way to find out what the youth is up to, zooming in on those in middle school and high school. Using data from the Pennsylvania Youth Survey that asks kids about drugs, alcohol, social media. They look at results from the schools all over Cambria County. It gives us a lot of information about what kids are doing, middle school and high school, and how vulnerable they are. And so we're sharing this information um, with small groups throughout the county. And we will hear from one group coming up, and in the next months, they will be reaching out to communities, traveling to different areas to speak to groups and organizations throughout Cambria County. Reporting live, Carrie Carrado, 6 News.